Well, did I step in it? I needed some 14-3 uh, because I got to run a couple of uh, two-way switches or three-way switches. I'm sorry. And um, so, oh, man, I got to go back down to Home Depot again. Uh, this is shit, you know, because I got tons of wire, as you can see, of 12, uh, 12 to 14 to and stuff like that. I got I got wire all over the place. I'm saying, man, I have no 14 three. This sucks. And I didn't want to double up on the wire because if anybody else ever came in here, an electrician, you know, and it was going to do anything for me, I didn't want to confuse him by not having a red wire you know, as a, um, um, yeah, a traveler. So, I was going to run down to Home Depot and pick up a roll of 14 3. When I came out to the garage, so let me look around. And I remember when I bought the 6 off of a friend of mine that works for an electrical supply house. Um that he gave me another roll for nothing of 250 feet of wire and I was saying what did I do with that wire and you know and what was it did I already use it so I started looking around and as I'm looking around guess what I find I find the wire okay now this was given to me about three years ago so I just tore it open to see and guess what it's 14.3 so I don't have to go. I got the red and black travelers. So, boy, did I look out on that one. But look at that. I lucked out. So now I got to start going through all my other electrical stuff. Let me get rid of all this crap. What the hell is that? Okay, so here's another box of electrical, and I got another box uh, out in the shop, so I got to see what I got here, so, because I got, I need some junction boxes, I mean, these will work, um, oh yeah, it's, uh, I got all kinds of junction boxes that I can, that I can use as a junction box, okay, so I'm all set, because I also got to, Need a couple of junction boxes. I got plates, as you can see. I got plugs here. I've got another 30 amper here because I'm going to put another 30 back here, uh, just in case I want to use the t uh, the MIG. Um, so I got another 30 there. Uh, uh, I'm not going to worry about anything else other than that. Um, so we're pretty well set. The only thing I got to check is the bulbs. Because I'm going to need uh, two, four, uh, nine. So that's 13 bulbs. So, and they're all T8s. So let's see what I got over here. So, walking through the yard. Trees are starting to change color. Now that tree over there, believe it or not, right there, that and that are the same tree. Bulbs, what do I have? 12 T12s, uh, T12s, T8s. How many do I have? Uh, two, four, Seven. Wait a minute, I got another box of bulbs back here. Hold on. T12s. Well, I got tons of T12s. I should have bought fixtures to take T12s. <laughs> anyway, let me get these out of here so I know what I got. Like I told you, I try to keep extra stuff laying around just in case they ever need it. And, uh, as you can see, you know, uh, having it here does help. Unfortunately, though, I don't know why I have so many of the T12s. 
All right. I got one switch there. However, I did waste a little of the um, one three or uh, fourteen three rather. Um, I wasn't thinking. I just started running fourteen three, and I ran a fourteen three from the uh, from the feed, which is going to be over there, over to the switch. When in fact, I only really needed a fourteen two. So I got a little carried away with the 14.3. So I got an extra red wire here that's not going to be hooked up to anything. Uh, I might be able to use it, but again, you, you don't want to go too far, if any, off code. Only because you may not be the one to always work on your project. Uh, you know, and if somebody else, an electrician, comes in, uh, that knows what's going on with code and he starts looking at things for instance that red wire uh, He may think that red wire is hooked up to a three-way someplace. I mean you never know um, So you want to try to stay code You know as far as the hookups, you know as far as the way you run the wire or whatever I meant another story but the actual hookups you want to try to stay with code. The same with automobiles. If you're running 12 gauge, you know, a DC wire, you know, red and black. You know, I mean, don't mix it up, you know, because if you take it to the mechanic and he starts seeing green wires and, you know, red wires and black wires and purple wires, well, not the reds and the blacks, but purples and greens and yellows, um, because a lot of times people will use a green wire because green is also known as a ground, you know, in a, um, in a home or on the AC side, but DC side it doesn't exist, you know. So, uh, you know, the mechanic has a lot of wires he has to deal with when he's tracing. They have all those different color wires, red and black, or most of the time are always going to be your hot and grounds. You know, uh, sometimes coming off the back of a radio for power antenna, you know, it may be an orange. You know, you never know. But that red and black, you're only going to save yourself a lot of headaches and a lot of money because if the mechanic happens to hook up something wrong because you labeled the wire wrong with the wrong color and he blows something else, you're going to be paying to fix all that. So, but anyway, I have the bulbs and that one and that one. I haven't got all the wire tacked in yet, all right, nor do I have the junction box on there. Isn't that a little messy? All right, uh, I got a little ahead of myself there, so there's a hookup, there's, there's, a, there's a tie there that really didn't need to be there. But other than that, I started getting ahead of myself, and, so, and I'm down here, and I'm down to there. So, for all attendant purposes, there's a switch over here. And there's a switch over there. So if I turn this switch on, the lights should go on. And the lights are on. And if I walk over to this switch, and I want to turn them off, because I'm going out the door, uh, lights are off. Now again, I'll turn it back on, because I just came in the back door. And now the lights are on. So, it's not hooked up to a breaker or, well, it's hooked up to a circuit, but not by code, by no means. But now I can get rid of all these extension cords that I got laying around and tripping over. All I did temporarily was I cheated. I just stuck them in there and plugged it into a circuit uh, just to get some power uh, so I can eliminate all these other cords. Um, so, but it's working. So the two... <clears throat> entrance switches three ways are working fine now something else I had to do which actually helped out I mean it couldn't hurt let's put it that way see the two by four going across there well that wasn't there the other day remember I ran the, the support beam all right you know and I braced that one beam uh, and then I noticed that there was the two by fours under here not that you're not seeing here but up under there uh, that was also part of the support. Now, I was nailed and screwed into it this way all the way. Uh, but I noticed that there was, well, for two reasons it came in handy. 
One is I'm gonna box this in, okay? Um, two is it gives me a place to hide the wires when I do box it in. So that's gonna help. The other is that there's a piece of structural framing right there uh, that needed a little bit of support that wasn't supported. So what I did was I supported that by running just one two by four all the way across. And, uh, and we just did it that way, you know. So it gave me my support, what little support I needed. But you know what? A little support today, it may need a lot more tomorrow. So I'm here, let me do it, you know. So that's what I did. All right, so the lights are working. These are anyway. Those are going to be hooked up to plugs in the ceiling. There's a box up there in the ceiling. I got to put plugs in it. I got to put another box over here. All right, and put a couple plugs in it. Uh, and like I said, when I put the plugs in those boxes, how it's going to work is they're going to be 15 amp. They're not going to be 20 amp. But I'm going to have a switch here. This switch is going to operate that box and the one soon to be on this side of each one of those boxes up there are going to work off the switch the other side of each one of those up there are going to be constant so this your way if i want to just like i say hook up the switch to one or two of them or whatever the case may be um i can do what i got to do the other thing is i don't know for sure if i pull this chain on and turn the light on if I disconnect the power and reconnect the power, like switching it off and then switching it back on again, is the light going to go on? Or does it have to be pulled each time? So that's another reason why I want to put a switched and a constant up there. Now it's a little extra work, it's a little redundant, you know, but you never know. You always need power, you know, it's always something you need, you know, so what the hell? <laughs> yeah. So, all right, guys, I am going to call it a day. Uh, there's a little bit of a mess. Some of these wires I'm going to naturally hang on to because I need them when I start boxing things together. You know, when you start tying your, your uh, plugs together, you know, you need all those little pieces. So uh, I'll go through and pick up a lot of these little pieces. Uh, there's my 14-2, uh, and over there's the 14-3s. And then... Uh, over in this corner is the 12 2 and uh, this uh there's the 6 3 uh underground stuff all right that's going to run from the box underneath the front like i told you to a new box back here what i'm going to do is i'm going to swap that box out it's a little more work but it's the right way to do it i'm going to swap that box out up there because that's only a four breaker okay uh so what i'll do is i'll bring that back here because i'm not going to need more than four breakers back here the one up there uh i've been looking i can find i found an eight with breakers all right for like 24 dollars now the breakers are probably not the best in the world uh, but you know what some of the boxes is worth 24 dollars so i'm going to put an eight banger up there uh and that'll just give me more options to get back here with if I need them. I can always just drop another 50 in it. So, but we'll see. I don't know yet for sure. All right. All right, guys. My lights are on. It's uh, driving me nuts. I am a little on the tired side because, again, I've been up and down on the ladder on how many times, nailing wires, bending over. My back is getting a workout, that's for sure. Ran another support, a light support, but again, it's still a support. And uh, we're going to take it from there. So I'm going to call it a day, guys.